Okay guys, in this scene we're going to go over two things, crypto mat exports and crypto mats and AI lighting. Now this is just a crypto mat export, so we'll, all right, our scene's rendering right now, we're looking, I don't know, probably around like 40 seconds when it gets finished. I have AI light turned off. This scene is perfect for AI lighting because it's a lot of renders, AI lighting needs a whole bunch of samples so it can get smarter. And then also the scene has a whole bunch of lights so it knows what to include and what to not include all right so i'm gonna t go ahead and turn it on so we went from a 42 second render time to a we'll figure it out later so crypto mats render passes all the way down all right so if you, crypto mat passes i think was started by pixar um and maybe industrial light and magic one of the two super smart people so I'm going to enable everything but the ones I normally use is just the material node and the object node its ability to separate objects in post is amazing or relight not relight but recolor um, fix certain things adjust the reflectivity of objects so um, our rendering is finished we went from 42 seconds to 35 seconds now notice we saved a whole bunch of time but where it makes sense is because there's tons of samples 1500 and also because there's a whole bunch of lights if you don't have a whole bunch of samples like if i turn this down to 400 samples it won't be any faster matter of fact it probably be slower all right let's go to our crypto map passes let me show you something so let's go to i use normally object mode and material node so look at this bookcase on the right it's completely orange but if i was to go into post i could separate the object highlight the object and then i can do the materials and select let's say the paper on the top and i can extract that information and change the color or just the brightness we can just do other things in post all right so on our export we're going to go to save all current render passes there's two um so let's go with EXR compression, zip lossy. Lossless is really big. Um, and if I was to export this, let's go to downloads. Sure. And then that would be one file size. But what I really recommend is because they fixed it that works with crypto mats is DWA lossy. I think it's the let's go to zip let's see what our file okay so we didn't select anything else but 16-bit tone mapped if you need it which I normally do and I'm gonna hit export if we go to think, oh call it two. if we see the file sizes the file sizes normally are about double the size when you don't do lossy so I'm here 2.5 to 1.69 it's exponential so when your file sizes get larger um, you're getting huge I've seen the difference between 20 megabytes and 256 megabytes just on an export alright guys that's it for for this one